Speaking of the lightning story, while we're there and talking about that part of it, what do you recall about that experience? You were struck by lightning. I actually don't remember the moment of impact. My brain got fried and scrubbed for about, there's about a 10 minute period that's kind of missing. I was unconscious. I was lying on my back with my eyes open, but rolled back into my head. The boys say that I wasn't breathing. I don't know if that's true or not, but they didn't think I was. And I began to be able to hear uh, them screaming and crying and praying. I heard my son say, Dad, don't die. Please don't die, Dad. And, uh, and I couldn't do a, a darn thing about it. Could you pray in that moment? A sort of dark, ominous presence seemed to kind of overwhelm me, and I began to, to, to depart, to leave the scene, and I realized I was dying. And in that moment, I wanted more than anything else to pray, but it's, it's kind of hard to describe, but I couldn't. I couldn't even in my mind formulate a prayer I felt completely overwhelmed by this dark presence. And uh, at the last possible moment before I would have been dead, I, I just knew the end was there, um, I, I had a spiritual experience. I heard a voice that uh, expressed God's love for me, his approval, and then said very distinctly and very calmly, ask in confidence. I took it to be my heavenly father kind of putting his arms around me. And after I heard that, I was able to pray. And I, it, it was a one word prayer. It was simply father. And, and, and the minute I did that, um, the darkness fled. My eyes rolled forward. My last question for you, what's your prayer and hope for audiences that come to see this film? I hope that everybody who sees this movie will know that there is a God who knows who we are and where we are and what our needs are. Thank you for sharing your story. It's a powerful one.